Good day everybody. We are expected to find the area of the shaded region. So this is the region that we want from the question. So all of the regions that are mentioned here with the stripes. So this is the shaded region. Okay. Now we are only given one information that is area of the small circle is 100 square units and we are also given that the triangle ABC is equilateral equilateral and M N O P is a square. So all of these informations are given but the data is given only for the small circle. So what I wish to do is uh, now let me explain this figure. You got the circle and the circle is actually inscribed inside the triangle ABC. That means the line AC is a tangent to the circle on the right hand side and the line AB is a tangent to the circle on the left hand side. The figure is not to be uh, taken to scale. Okay, So this is just an approximate figure to just give you an idea. So that would mean we can easily use many of the geometrical concepts. So having mentioned that let me just start off. Now this is the solution. Let R be the radius of the small circle. Radius of the small circle. So this is the small circle we are talking about. Now clearly we see that AC is a tangent to the circle. So by therefore by tangent theorem we know that the radius drawn from the center of the circle to the line AC will make an angle of 90 degrees. So let me draw that. So if you were to draw the radius to the tangent, so this is going to be making an angle of 90 degrees. Now equilateral triangle since triangle ABC is equilateral so what is the meaning of that this means angle at A is equal to angle at B is equal to angle at C is equal to 60 degrees so what I wish to do is from A I am going to be dropping a, a bisector so let me drop the bisector from A. So from A if I were to draw a bisect drop a bisector, that bisector would divide the angle into 30 degrees and 30 degrees. Now this is 90 degrees, right? And this is 30 degrees. So in a right triangle, let me draw the right triangle for your observation. Now this is 90, this is 30. If I were to take this as STR, angle at S plus angle at T plus angle at R is equal to 180 degree. Angle at T is 90, angle at R is 30, angle at S, what is angle at S? This is 120. So angle at S is going to be 180 negative 120 which is equal to 60. So this is 60 degrees. So this is going to be 60 degrees. Okay. Now in a triangle, in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the longest side SR will be equal to 2 times the smallest side. So in this case, it's going to be ST. Now clearly, this radius, if I obtain it as R, so this is the smallest side. This is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So the longest side is going to be 2 times the smallest side. So this is longer side. Let me take this as some Q. So also clearly 
AQ is going to be equal to 2 times R. So this entire length is going to be 2 times R. Now, let me just go over here and uh, complete the question. I hope you are able to see it. So, now we know that. What we do we know? We know that area of the small circle. Small circle is given to be as 100 square units. Right. So, that would mean pi r squared is equal to 100. Okay. So, from here also area of the large circle. What is that equal to? That is going to be equal to pi times. What is the radius of the large circle? Radius of the large circle is 2 times r. So, 2 times r whole square which is equal to 4 times pi times r squared. Now, pi r squared is 100. So, substitute that. So, this is going to be 4 times 100 which is equal to 400. So, this is the area area of the large circle. 400 square units. Okay, let that be in one side. Now, let me go over here. Now, this is 2R, right? Now, if this length is 2R, this, you see, this is the center. So, this length is also going to be 2R because there is a tangent to the large circle. At this point A, PQ is going to, or I would say, uh, PO or OP is a tangent there. So, this length from the center to the point A, that's going to be 2R. So, that would mean this, if I were to draw a line from the center to the midsection of the square, this is going to be 2R. This is going to be 2R. So, the length of the square, the total length of the square is going to be 4 times R. Okay. So, the area of the square, area of the square is equal to the side is 4 times r, side into side, 4r multiplied with 4r is equal to 16r squared. But we do not know r. Now go back here. What is this, uh, what is this r? We got an r squared here. So from here, r squared is equal to 100 divided by pi, right? So take this value and substitute it here. So this is going to be 16 multiplied with 100 multiplied with pi, this is going to be 1600 divided by pi. This is the area of the square. So, required area, the required area is equal to area of the square, which is 1600 over pi minus the area of the circle. Area of the circle is going to be this one, this value, 400. I hope you are able to watch that area of the circle is 400. So, you subtract that 400. So, what do we get? From 1600, you subtract take the LCM as pi, it's going to be 400 pi divided by pi. Now, uh, let, me, let me use the calculator. So, I'm going to first calculate the value of pi. I'm going to take the pi value as approximately 3.14. So, let me do the calculations here. 1600 minus 400 multiplied with 3.14. That is going to be 1256. So, 1600 minus 1256. That is equal to 344. This is divided by 3.14. That is is giving me a value of 109.54 square units. So, this is the required area. So, we have successfully calculated the shaded region and this is a beautiful question. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until we meet again. Thank you.